So Ankita, congratulations for the win today. Uh, Thank you. You had a match with uh, a friend of yours, Rutuja. Uh, what are your thoughts about today's game? How are you feeling? Please let us know. Uh, me and Rutuja have played many times before, uh, at least a couple. And you know, playing together as a team, uh, also in the Billie Jean King Cup. Uh, but I feel that every match, every day, uh, is a new one. You have to bring out the best no matter what. And even if sometimes you're not physically at your best, you have to push through mentally. And um, I think I like the conditions here and I was able to play the way I had planned and I wanted to and uh, close the match uh, like I wanted. Uh, you had a difficult year uh, last year. You mentioned a couple of times that COVID hit you hard and it was hard to get back to uh, the uh, tournaments after that. Yeah, last year was tough, you know. It was a phase and I think a few things happened together at the same time. I got COVID twice, like you mentioned. I have said that before, once in Jan and then second time in May when I was actually out for tournaments. So probably for the first time I had to retire, which like never thought I would do even when I've not been physically 100%. I've still like finished matches and completed them because I believe that sportsmanship. But then uh, the first time when I got it, it was I didn't have any symptoms, but the second time was really bad. Uh, but it I felt it just took away a lot of time and in tennis that costs you because there are tournaments going on every week and players are competing throughout the year and uh, at the same time due to the covid rankings and the changes which they had made uh, you know all uh, affected at the same time in terms of defending points and uh, the drop off points so it definitely it was challenging firstly it took almost i think six months to start feeling physically fit i initially didn't think that you know with covid it would be that bad but uh, obviously when i had to go through it you know i could i could see it it was not just like first had to get physically better then then in practice in terms of tennis and then at the match level because match fitness is completely different and then finally around August September I started to feel uh, you know myself on court in terms of competing and game wise and you've always mentioned that the doubles have helped your singles game and uh, this tournament you're with Prathana so the fans are very curious to know how did that come about? You all look very good as a pair. Uh, me and Pratna have played before, you know, uh, uh, for the Indian team. And we go way back, like we also used to train together before. And before she moved to doubles as well, we used to, we have played um, and won a uh, couple tournaments. And then last year from uh, Solapur, we, we were talking before, but then Finally, our schedules match from uh, Solapur because we both were planning to play those. Mostly, we used to play uh, abroad, and then the schedule used to be different as well. So, we thought, why not? Let's uh, you know um, try again, and we did well in Solapur, Navi Mumbai, and then Pune. So, obviously, knowing uh, someone from a long time because she's just a year uh, younger to me so you know we are the same age group and we've uh, been playing together and seen each other on tour uh, for a long time so i think yeah, that also helps fantastic switching gears a bit as you mentioned uh, the indian team the billy jean king tournaments coming up you are india's uh, most successful player in that tournament but this time things are slightly different uh, Sanya is not there, Mr. Opal is not there. You are going to be there as the uh, most experienced player in the team. Uh, what are your thoughts about the tournament? How are you looking forward to it? Uh, of course, we will miss Sanya. I mean, there's 
uh, no question you know having her has always been a huge motivation and inspiration for not just the Indian team but I think the whole of uh, tennis fraternity and uh, I mean there have been few times earlier when we had to go without her maybe due to uh, injury or like also when uh, she was pregnant but then uh, having her always we had the advantage and edge you know, in terms of other teams knowing how strong we are. Last couple years we had uh, Vishal sir as well in the Indian team and I felt uh, it was great in terms of the team bonding together and you know having the team spirit. Uh, we definitely <laughs> gonna miss him uh, this year but obviously uh, there have been a lot of learnings that we are going to take forward as a team and uh, do more than our best. Just talking about your future goals, you've mentioned a couple of times that uh, on your uh, bucket list is uh, the Grand Slam. That's one of the things that uh, you've been trying really hard. Uh, and also you're looking forward to the Asian Games this year. So how is your outlook? Uh, what do you think is, uh, is needed or what is it that you uh, have to do more in order to break into those Grand Slams? Um. I've, I mean, I've been in the qualifyings there, and also I, uh, I've played uh, the main draw in doubles yes. and mixed in twenty one. So I think I've got an idea and got the exposure of uh, what's the level I need to be. Uh, definitely, uh, physical was one of the parts. You know, getting as fitter as you can. I think it's just about improving every single day uh, minute things because at this level everyone uh, knows how to hit hit forehands and backhands and then it's the crucial uh, moments crucial points in the matches you know which you need to be aware of and then mentally pushing when you have those opportunities to close the match especially when you are playing at the highest levels, for example, in the Grand Slams or at the WTA Tour to get the big wins to, you know, have that boost. So, yeah, definitely playing the main draw of the Slams and like you mentioned, Asian Games is coming up. <clears throat> I've uh, been fortunate that, uh, you know, with all the support and hard work, I've won a um, bronze medal in 2018, so I want to... <laughs> Turn that. I want to change that color into gold. So that's that's the motivation. That's the goal. But Not, uh, it's about just daily, you know, hard work and being in the process. And not many people may know, but you even played Badosa in 2019, and I imagine in in the Australian Open in the qualifiers. So you've been there with the top players, and uh, I guess now it's probably putting everything together and breaking that barrier and coming into the uh, to the main draw. So it's yeah, in tennis, it's, you know, everything has to come together, you know, the, the game, the physical, the mental, and there, there are so many aspects, you know, the conditions matter, how you are playing that day, how the opponent is feeling that day. So, but the only thing that's in your control is you keep at it and keep doing it. Uh, a few words for Sanya. You were there at her recent farewell. Uh, what was your experience being there? It was great. It was amazing. I was uh, privileged and honored, you know, to be part of that um, event and to have that chance. It was really amazing to see, you know, all the people that the room was full of love and there have been, you know, times obviously when I've seen, read other interviews and um, seen pictures of her when um, she had just started winning and when uh, she had started tennis. But uh, that event was really special and um, it it really meant a lot. Even though I had to <laughs> obviously go fly down for a day, but it was definitely worth it and. There, there were a lot of learnings from there and even like seeing what how much parents uh, do for the children to get there um, it was really amazing you have a final tomorrow uh, against brenda she's uh, 15 she's playing really well in this tournament uh, what how do you prepare yourself for that match 
Yeah, Brenda, I mean, I've seen her for the first time in this tournament and coming to the finals, you know, is a great thing. So I've had good matches and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So you are a Kashmiri from Gujarat. We've seen many interviews of you speaking Gujarati, but for your Kashmiri fans, could you just uh, say a few words in Kashmiri? Sure. Uh, namaskar Sarni. Which has bird bird shukra gazar to a Sarni. Machu ye piar to Mohabbat Melan. Sarni Lukanchu Ashirwad to a chu yuta me a he current support current. A Miss Katra, which has the he did sign Sarni shukra gazar. Be Machu ye. Tamanna ke bei kur gasi yin bei youth gasi gasun yun sports months the parents gasun sarni support karen.